breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Unamdi Kanu, I am not perturbed by Buhari's statement. I am not perturbed by Buhari's statement. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. Unamdi Kanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Piafra, IPOG, said he is not perturbed by the statements made by the president. Muhammadu Buhari Buhari had, in an interview on Wednesday, said he will not release Unamdi Kanu from detention despite appeals from Igbo elders. Buhari had said, For those who are saying that we should release him, no, we cannot release him. However, Unamdi Kanu, who spoke through his lead counsel, Efiai Ejiofo, on Thursday, said he only demands a fair hearing and treatment. Speaking after a visit to Unamdi Kanu, in the DSS custody, Ejiofo said we were not one bit perturbed by his, by his response, knowing fully that they have no case against our client. What we are earnestly asking for is nothing else but for the executive arm of government led by the president of the FRN to desist from further interfering in the judicial process. We can authoritatively confirm to the world that the executive arm of the government of the FRN, ably led by the president, is gravely and effectively interfering in our client's judicial proceedings. To demonstrate good faith and impartiality, we work on on the president of the FRN to first caution the DSS which answers solely to him to to obey all court orders as it relates to the management of this case. Our client Onyedu Mazi Unamdekanu should not be detained in solitary confinement which is an act of torture. In the custody of the same agency, accusing him of committing sundry offenses and expect fear hearing. And there is no independence of the judiciary as far as this case is concerned. And the president of the FRN is fully aware of this. If it is the position of the president of the FRN to allow fear hearing, it should follow up and ensure its reality. Most promptly, President Muhammadu Buhari had in November last year promised to consider the request of some leaders from the southeast region to release Kanu, who is facing treason charges, preferred against him by the Nigerian government. Although he told the Igbo leaders under the ages of highly respected Igbo great that they had made an extremely difficult demand, he insisted that the best thing was to subject the IPOP leader to the judicial system. In his interview with Channel's television, the president doubted if Kano was willing 
to return to the country to clear his name from the allegations against him after he fled in 2017. There is one institution that I wouldn't dare interfere with, that is the judiciary, he said. Kano's case is with the judiciary, but what I wonder is when Kano was safely in Europe abusing this administration and mentioning too many things. I never thought really he wants to voluntarily come and defend himself on the accusations. So we are giving him an opportunity to defend himself in our system, not to be abusing us from Europe as if he was not a Nigerian. Let him come here to us and then criticize us here. Ronald Kanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, said he is not perturbed by the statement made by President Muhammad Buhari. Buhari had in an interview on the Wednesday said he will not release Unamde Kanu from detention despite appeals from Igbo elders. Buhari had said, for those who are saying that we should release him, no, we cannot release him. However, Unamde Kanu, who spoke through his lead counsel, if we are in a GO4, on Thursday said he only demand a fair hearing a treatment. To my dear listeners, finally we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.